And so all this over here, this would be filled in with Lily the Valley. That was here when we bought the house. And then Hubby did the fence a few years ago. Neighbors complaining about the dogs coming out in the road even though they had the shock collars on. So we tried to shut the neighbors up. We put a fence up and made them an area. And they're all almost saw Smudge's head. So this over here has to be cleaned up more. It's filled with hostels. Because this is all shade because of the humongous pine tree right here. So yes, those are the dogs you hear in quite a few of our videos. And again, I put most mostly I have the tall grass here, but fine. Smudge! 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 I'm trying to get him to climb up the, the kids. There he is. Hi, Smudge! Oh, it's true. There's Mr. Sugar. I mean, he's not really that close. There he is. There's my big boy. And there's Miss Ellie. We adopted her when my daughter and her fiance moved down to Florida. And they spat back and forth just like husband and wife and they were married. So we'll go across the driveway here. And we'll have some more of my crocus that are being ruined. Daffodils are getting ready to open. And I think this is a forsythia. I took that from the other house too. This big mess of a bush here is a huge wisteria, plus there's two lilac bushes inside of that. That one is in full bloom, it's just beautiful. And this is our mulch piles that the tree trimming companies, when they were in the neighborhood last year, in the summer, two years ago, we went up to them and asked them if we could have their mulch and heck, they were happy to back their truck up and just dump it here on the side. That works for us. So Hubby was able to get that small chipper for a real good price. And so we put this, this mulch inside the chipper so it breaks down even more. And it's real fine. So that's what we use in the garden. Once, once it's chopped down into usable pieces. Now when we first moved here, we had a very small garden. And this is the size of our garden now. These two beds, probably an at least one of these two beds would be hot pepper. And here's two more raised beds at the other, or maybe I'll just do both, all the hot peppers in these two beds. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet this year. But, uh, I'm going to have carrots and radish and peas and pole beans. Like I said, this is what our Cattle panels here, what we put the tomatoes in. I don't know if I'm going to do cucumbers this year. We didn't have cucumbers at the dawn last year. And the two hoops over the top and hung down so they're really easy to, easy to pick. And I've described this before. This is our ever-bearing strawberries. And that there is a white lilac. My daughter gave me one here for Mother's Day. And uh, our grapevine over there, the arbor. I have my horseradish here. And I do, I have three, four pieces of rhubarb coming up. I'm very happy. Chuck. 
There's more garlic. All of these are pieces of wood. It means it's a different type of garlic. I have it all written down and I have the name tags made so I'll just uh, bring out the little plastic totes. Walking onion. More onion. And this, it, we enclosed it. But this is where the spiritus was when we put bed around it and I added some more seeds. And it should, it should be all be good this year to, to pick. And I'll probably put some lettuce in this end of it. That doesn't hurt anything. Ah, yes, there we go. Miss Alley. So that's it of our garden. We do have a composter. And that's, that's helped. What you want? What you want, girl? What you want, girl? Yeah. Come, Mr. Sugar. And then we don't have swamp land, but um, for some reason we have cattails. My daughter calls them the urban corn dog. So, and here's where a lot of my hardy hibiscus seeds come from. They were here. And we have a mess over here on the one side of the doorway. And this started out to be my herb garden, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it this year. This is the area that we designated for the dogs to run in, and come out and get exercise because we can just open up the garage door and they can come out here. And there's my big baby right there. Smudge is the youngest of the five and the biggest. He's uh, still has a year and a half. Go into those humongous paws of his. And over here, Sam went. Right there, Sam. Sam was a rescue from up the street. Serious ear infections. We couldn't even touch his head. He would have taken our hand off. And now he just loves to be loved. I have to sedate him a little bit to get in there and clean his ears about, but he's a love bug. Shadow! 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 Shadow is 14 years old. She's my lab child that we got at a flea market of all places <coughs> and we, I got her when she was six months old she's going deaf and going blind and there's Sam let's know what's going on Smudge and his buddy Miss Ellie <laughs> crazy dogs I'm telling you and then we have the sisters I've had Shadow for 14 years. And these two right here, those are litter, litter sisters. He took me to Upper Sandusky on New Year's Day three years ago to look at one. And they had two left. I couldn't make up my mind. And when I finally did, he had already made a, some sort of bargain with the owner and his mom. And they both came home. So, they'll be coming in pretty soon. You don't leave them out overnight. Clean out their, their run area, their kennel area, on a regular basis, and that's about it. So, I will leave you with this, and you have a good day. Subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your family. So, until the next time, have a good one.